Hello everyone, my name is Sinmore, and this is Star Sector version 0.96 ARC10, and this is Cruiser Plus of the Combined Arms sort of uh, fleet doctrine that we have going here. Now, these guys are absolutely just devastating. The executors are basically like two champions sort of sandwiched together. They have a little over twice the damage of damage of two champions and they have a lot that makes them really scary but all right let's see how they do up against about 80 points so to, to field all of these we have the executor we have a drover that is set to the cruiser plus drover type we then have the afflictor and the monitor these the monitor and the drover are escorting the executor uh, the executor executor and the afflictor is just on its own doing its own thing so how's it going guys now the main strength of the executor of the executor is that it has the high intensity lasers so what that means is that it's high is that it's um, high intensity laser and everything else is able to do a lot more damage. The only downside is that it doesn't have the flex dissipation of something like a paragon, but it does cost 10 points less than a paragon to field, so you're able to shove more things like monitors out there if you just want to uh, flood an enemy with monitors. Which is a perfectly valid strategy for keeping some really high danger enemies busy while your other ships kill everything. So he is going to do a really decent job of killing this onslaught here once he gets around to it. When he feels like it, I guess. And this conquest is desperately trying to kill this monitor to, well, no real success. And this onslaught's about to go down. I guess he isn't. The luckiest onslaught ever. His conquest friend, though, he's gonna have some problems. He's gonna have some problems real quick. Because those high intensity lasers, lasers are coming for him, and they're gonna carve through his ship in absolutely no time. So this is a more offensively minded sort of build, and it also you can use the same officers for Cruiser Plus that you have used for Wolf, Destroyer, and Normal Cruiser levels. So no changes to how officers are designed for those. So any MP that arcs through here might be enough to uh, kill this Paragon. It seems to just have a mag magic pixel of health. And well, there it goes. <laughs> and this Conquest is also just absolutely friggin' dead. And, yeah, he's going to die real fast. So that's about it for these guys. And there we go. So that doesn't really show off how powerful this build is, though. Instead, let's get this set up again. And let's instead show you what happens when you start slapping lots and lots and lots of carriers against this thing. So we have 110 deployment points and this costs about 77? Yeah, 77. So by deployment point measures, this should be a slaughter. However, the drover back here is actually really good at killing off enemy fighters. So with these Xyphos, it's just going to start slaughtering everything left and right. And the and the Executor here is going to be able to start bursting people down fairly effectively. Now, it doesn't have the same survivability as a Paragon, so it might take damage, it might even die. But, looks like the it survived the Alpha Strike. Yeah, 
And because the Xiphos are fighters, they can actually just fire over ships. So they're actually slightly better point defense than you might otherwise think. The other thing that's nice about them is their EMP beams here. Those also fire over ships, so as long as they are within range, they can help to EMP enemy ships. Really nice. This guy does have some uh, flak batteries, so he was able to take care of those bombs rather quickly. And with that Alpha Strike gone, this is this fight is pretty much a foregone conclusion. Uh, these guys are too busy chasing around this afflictor and are going to basically slowly watch their buddies die. So unless they can somehow get more Alpha Strike than than you know they did at the very beginning of the fight, this fight is pretty much over. Especially now that the Executor has kind of gotten within melee range, so to speak, of, of that uh, Mora. It's probably going to kill it if it can. Because Moras, while extremely tanky, uh, don't really do so well against sustained fire. Yeah, the main bane of a Mora is any kind of sustained damage. The moment you go to burst damage, Moras are absolutely fantastic. But uh, outside of that, they aren't particularly great. Okay, and the battle is taking quite a bit of time, but uh, once this Mora is gone, that'll be one last that'll be one last carrier you have to worry about, and he will be next. Or whoever. So this monitor here is doing a fantastic job of blocking a lot of these uh, Atrophos missiles coming in from these daggers. This Heron is starting to get a little bit of chip damage on this Executor, but that's okay. Remember, this is 110 deployment points versus 77. He is very focused on killing this Mora. He really doesn't like that guy. But yeah, their, their alpha strike's already over. One of those doing a good job of blocking this Heron from doing anything. Unless something weird happens, this is just going to be a very slow slaughter. Eventually this Mora gets EMP'd, its engines get turned off, and then it dies a very horrible and painful death. <laughs> but yeah, got these missiles coming in there. Oh, did some good burst damage there. The monitor was slightly out of position, but now this Mora doesn't have any kind of real defense. So this is going to be a very painful death for if, you know, he actually decides to fire his weapons at them. It looks like the Executor is deciding to not execute the enemy when he had the chance. Interesting choices. Those Atropos get blocked once again. And the Mora is very slowly going down. And there we go, that's another one down, and the number of uh, the number of uh, fighters diminishes very slowly. But yeah, this fight is just going to keep going this way until all the carriers are dead or CR'd out running for their lives. So, they were going to, if they were going to kill and win, they would have already. So what else do we have? So we, so we are worth 75 points here, 77 points is what we are deploying. Normally you wouldn't have an exact number, but also at the same time you'd probably be deploying most of your fleet <laughs> to kill these guys off. So what if, how well does this do against massed enemies? Because that is always the other question that is often asked. How well would it work against something like a pirate fleet, which is 
largely made of kind of cheap frigate units. It has a few larger larger ships, but not many. All right, so how do they fare? The answer is that they will kind of get chased around, and they will eventually CR out and then and then die. That's basically how this goes. Uh, we aren't going to watch the entire thing, but the Afflictor is already sort of starting to split them up. He's already taking them down. Our Afflictor is sort of our frigate superiority uh, frigate, if you will. And the Drover here is going to try and disable any enemies that it can with its Xyphos. Alright, we can see... This wolf trying to do something. Yeah, it's like a little bit of chip damage here and there. But uh, generally, there's not going to be a lot getting in here that the Zyphos aren't going to take care of. Okay, down he goes. And, well, that's three down. And if you're flying this, then you'll probably focus on killing each frigate one by one. Oh good, they're all focusing on this monitor. That is a terrible decision. Did the Afflictor die? Nope, it's still down here dogfighting with uh, with three of them. <laughs> Alright, so we have all of these against this wolf. He has to run for his life. This one needs to run as well. And yeah, what you're going to see is the wolves are probably going to survive the longest. But then they will eventually CR out, and they won't be able to do much. This is of one dead Cerberus, most likely. And yeah. All the ships that are hypermobile are going to survive until they run out of combat readiness, and then they will just die. So this fight is pretty much over. Every single fighter, that every single frigate that they lose is a... Uh, it's not substantial loss in their ability to deal damage. But every single one adds up, and they've lost a significant portion of their fleet so far. They won't be able to really do much to us. If they make somewhat poor decisions, they will die. But if they don't, then they will sort of just run away until their CR hits zero, at which point they will all just die. So, there definitely are some options here. But yeah. It's very effective at what it does. Like, no missiles, have, very few missiles, if any, have been able to get in here and deal damage. And when we had those massed fighters, very few fighters were actually able to close in and do anything as well. The Zyphos are going to help EMP the enemy, which just means that the Executor can execute them. But, all right. Also, once the missiles get their, get their hard flux up a little bit higher, uh, the ion beams are able to disable their engines for the most part. So the Afflictor is starting to CR out, which means these guys are going to start CRing out uh, somewhat quickly. They're already CRing out, it seems. There goes another wolf. Yeah, they're slowly starting to degrade. So yeah, what you will see is just everything just dies over time. The Afflictor is probably going to die, but that's just how that goes. But all right, that is the that is kind of the build. Um, that's how that fleet works together. You would normally have three of these squads out in bigger fights. When you go up against fights that require a bit more, you can definitely go over here and just start spamming out your spare monitors. Uh, you can generally spam out as many of them as you want. So normally you'll have 240 points. To put that in perspective, that looks... Oh yeah, our officers are off a little bit. But uh, this driver here is 14, so just add 6 to our final number. And you'll get an idea of how effective this all is. So we need to add 6-ish, so if we get rid of one afflictor... Uh, we can only add three. 
And now we have all of our all of our spare monitors, at least here, out. But that's with all of these ships in here, too. You'd have a lot more monitors in your fleet uh, to be able to just spam out and attack the enemy with. So with this, we, in effect, have our what our fleet actually looks like here. And so if you had, say, some ships that you really wanted to just sort of distract forever, you would tell a monitor to attack them. To exterminate them and so the monitor would go and rub its face up and up against them while your while your executors being escorted by drover escorts go and kill everything and this one <laughs> these two afflictors you can just tell them to go do their own thing while these guys pretty much just keep the enemy busy until the enemy's dead but yeah that is the build this is actually one of the stronger builds out there simply because you're able to throw more executors out on the field and these executors are able to do a fairly high amount of damage very quickly but all right everyone that's been the build that is a demonstration and i will catch you all later bye everyone